So today, guys, I'm going to be making another video on Attack of the Radioactive Thing, and this video is going to be the best perk setup in this map. So all these perks that I'm going to list out are the perks that I think you guys should buy if you're playing this map. Whether you're doing the Easter egg, going for high rounds, whatever. These perks that I'm about to list is, in my opinion, the best perks in this map and the perks that you should buy if you're playing this map. So let's jump right into it right away with the first perk. So the first perk is very obvious. I'm going to eliminate the obvious one right away, and that is Tough Enough, a.k.a. Juggernaug. Tough Enough is Infinite Warfare's version of Juggernaug, and obviously you're going to want to get Jug. When you're playing Treyarch Zombies, you, you always get Jug no matter what doing. Jug's a must. If you're playing Infinite Warfare Zombies, Jug's a must. Juggernaug, Tough Enough, whatever it's called, it is a must, and you should definitely buy it if you're playing Attack of the Radioactive Thing. So the second perk you guys should get is going to be Bang Bangs, and Bang Bangs is Infinite Warfare's version of double tap now in my opinion bang bangs is more of a 1.0 than a 2.0 which obviously isn't good to hear but you should still buy it and the reason why is because there are a lot of other perks on iw zombies a lot of perks on attack of the radio at the thing that are just complete garbage and you definitely do not want to go near it you don't want to touch them with a 10 foot pole so bang bangs is not terrible so you should definitely buy it just because you know it's better than you know all the other perks out there on this map so Bang Bangs is one of the perks that you should buy if you're playing Attack of the Radioactive Thing. Third perk you're going to want to get is Mule Munchies, aka Mule Kick. That's Infinite Warfare's version of Mule Kick. Now, the reason why is similar to Bang Bangs. A lot of, a lot of the perks out there on IW Zombies just are not good, and you definitely don't want to get them. And this perk just happens to be you know better than these. Now, Mule Kick is a very useful perk in my opinion i always get it when i'm playing track zombies it just gives you more ammo three guns similar to iw zombies it gives you a lot more ammo you have three guns you know you have more firepower to work with so meal munchies is definitely a perk you're going to want to get if you're playing attack of the radioactive thing third perk you're going to want to get is dead eye do drops now now this perk here dead eye do drops made its debut in shadow and shuffle it was the new perk added to shadow and shuffle and honestly, I think that this is one of the best perks, you know, in IW Zombies and one of the best in Attack of the Radioactive Thing. Basically, it is Infinite Warfare's version of Deadshot Daiquiri, and it is a must in my opinion. It's very helpful. It's a great perk to have. And whether you're doing the Easter Egg, whether you're going for high rounds or playing with buddies, whatever you're doing, this is a perk that is going to help you in your game. So you're definitely going to want to get Did I Do Drops. That This is a perk that... You're going to want to get, and it doesn't matter what you're doing, this is definitely a perk that you're going to want to get if you're playing Attack of the Radioactive Thing. So the fifth and final perk on this list is Racing Stripes. Now, Racing Stripes is Infinite Warfare's version of Stamina Up, and when I play Treyarch Zombies, I usually don't buy Stamina Up. I only get Stamina Up if I have a Perkaholic or have Uncrunchables on. My, my original four perks are never Stamina Up. Stamina Up is never involved in the original four perks that I get, but... In IW Zombies, is a different case, and the reason why is similar to Bang Bangs. I mean, the, the other perks are just garbage. Like, I mean, Racing Stripes, that's terrible. Now, Racing Stripes, it's not even in the map. It's not in Attack of the Radioactive Thing, but, I mean, Sloppy Taffy is, and that's complete garbage in my opinion. i much rather have Racing Stripes over Sloppy Taffy. So, I mean, Racing Stripes is not bad. Again, it's Infinite Warfare's version of Stamina Up, so you can run a lot faster. It helps you if you're, you know, in a tight situation and you, and you need to get out, you just like sprint away it's a great perk to have and you should definitely buy it if you're playing attack of the radioactive thing so that's it for the video guys again this is just my opinion so if you guys don't agree please don't roast me in the comments if you guys enjoyed this video or the video helped you please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe i'm delby and i'll see you guys in another one later